Hi, welcome back to my channel, Fix and Repair. Today I'm going to talk about how I added a dipstick filler tube to my Power King 1614 tractor. And it has a 14 horsepower K321 engine in it. Alright, and as you can see, that's what I came up with. That's the finished product. And I'll tell you how I did this. I saw, I was looking online, I was reading some of the posts on the uh, Power King tractor sites, and someone says, yeah, you can make your own, you just have to come up with the, the right length dipstick. So I searched and I searched, and I couldn't find, they did make these dipsticks a while ago, but no one has them in stock anymore. So you'd, you'd be forced to find the original that fits this engine, or you can make your own. And I couldn't find I, anything that was reasonably priced to fit this uh, engine here. The one I did find, the only one on eBay, was almost 50 bucks with shipping. And it was bent a little bit. I thought, that's not worth it. So I went on eBay and I did find this one here. And it's model number K one six one and it was off a seven horsepower Kohler okay and that is this part here and this part here okay so it was really short but it had a long dipstick and I like that because that way I could always add to it if I needed to to make it the right length now, I was looking online, and there were some of these on eBay, and they were they were tapered. They had a wide mouth to dump the oil in, and they tapered on the bottom. I didn't like those because I didn't know if I would have to cut some off the tube, if it would, would uh, be too high up and it would hit the hood, or for the length of the dipstick, to adjust it with this with adding pipe in here I was able to adjust it up and down and since it was tapered if I cut anything off I cut off the top then the uh, dipstick wouldn't fit on it or if I cut it off the bottom there was really no way of, of putting threads on it because it's it's tapered so this is what I came up with I'll show you what the original dipstick looks like it's that and I got tired of using a wrench checking the oil level. Okay. Get you focused here so you can kind of see it. That's the original here. Okay. All right. Oops. <clears throat> All right, there we go. <laughs> okay. So how did I come up with this? And what did I... How did I plan this out? I had a three quarters inch brass fitting that's the size for the sump the one that I purchased was only half inch so I had to adapt it out okay and then I found these fittings that really don't look like water pipe fittings and nice and smooth and then I added a, a nipple in between here I cleaned everything make sure and I, and I also wire brushed everything and I also, to find out how it would fit in there, I filled up the, the uh, reservoir in here all the way to the full mark on the original dipstick. And then I just played with the length until I got the same reading on the new dipstick. When I put it all together, I, I used this RTV silicone to seal everything together. And I can pull it out. I think the paint is somewhat dry now. People can see what it looks like. It just clears the hood. And there you go. And you can see I got it up to the full level, which is perfect. That's what it looks like. It's got a little O-ring on the inside here. It's nice. So if you see one of these on eBay, it's from a 7 horsepower Kohler engine, model K161, and 
I paid less than 20 bucks with shipping. It's real reasonable. And I was able to adapt it. If you like my video, if you have any questions, please give me a thumbs up, leave any comments. And I'll keep uh, producing these videos. All right, have a nice day.